You will never complain about hair breakage again after using this simple tea on your hair every single week for a month. You will never complain about hair breakage. If your hair was like this, it will become like this, okay? If you use this tea consistently, do you understand? Now, if you want to know how to make this powerful, simple recipe for your hair, please keep on watching the whole video to see how you can stop breakage forever. Yes, you will never complain about hair breakage again after using this simple recipe for a month, okay? You won't be able you won't be able to recognize your hair. Now, the first ingredient is rosemary. Rosemary is known to thicken your hair, to regrow your hair. That is what we want, okay? Because if you are using this every week for a month, we are going to be able to regrow hair. So that is what we want, okay? The next ingredient is nettle leaf. Do you know stinging nettle? Let me tell you what it does, Jared. Nettle is one of the oldest recorded remedies used for treating and preventing hair loss. This is primarily due to the high amount of sulfur and silica in nettle, which improve hair health by strengthening the hair shaft. Regular use of nettle can promote hair regrowth and reduce hair loss. You see now what I'm talking about. You won't be able to complain about hair breakage again because your hair shaft will be strengthened by this tea. I'm telling you right now. Ak, let's go to the next one. Okay. The next one is horse tail. Chard. Now, with hostel, the silica in hostel has been shown to encourage hair growth and hair thickness. So, if you are after hair thickness, hostel is the herb for you, okay? Now, using this extract also impacts your collagen production in a positive way that will improve your hair health and overall look. So, I'm going to be using one tablespoon of the horse tail. The next one is bay leaves. You all know what bay leaves does. It actually stimulates blood flow to the scalp and it also thickens the hair and strengthens the hair okay now if you know any rinses that i've done before you know that i normally add in my bay leaves because of how it actually conditions the hair if you're still watching comment down below and say my eyes are open i'm not even going anywhere i'm still watching Ako, comment down below jared this tea is rooibos tea Rooibos is rich in minerals like copper, zinc, calcium, potassium. All these minerals are beneficial to hair growth because they strengthen the roots of your hair and boost hair growth and even prevent gray hair. The next one is peppermint. Peppermint actually helps to stimulate blood flow to the scalp and it also helps to thicken the hair to make the follicle a bit larger so that your hair that you're growing out actually comes out thicker you guys chamomile promotes hair growth reduces hair fall it also strengthens damaged hair that's exactly what i need it reduces dandruff and also it helps with itchiness okay it also lightens your hair adds shine to your hair the next one is chai tea the one thing that i'm going to say about chai tea is that it actually helps prevent hair fall this is because the caffeine found in black tea especially the high oxidized tea often used in masala chai can act as a dht blocker that's why you need this tea you get it now green tea is known to actually stop that hormone that is known to cause hair loss okay it blocks that hormone so green tea you will find it in in most of my hair rinses because it actually helps to stop the hormone that causes hair loss okay so i'm going to be adding that in as well now you guys when you use these hair rinses every single time you wash your hair you are going to see that your hair will be so much strengthened your hair is not gonna break too much it's not gonna shed a lot you're going to keep the hair keep your hair on your head when you do this so i'm going to bring it to a boil 
don't boil it too much because the water will actually evaporate just need to boil it maybe for five minutes and then you take it off the stove i'm going to be straining it now the strainer that i used it didn't really work because uh, i could still see some small particles inside the bowel so i ended up using a cloth uh, to actually strain because i don't want particles in my hair chart act if you're still watching it comment down below and say hey i'm not even going anyway i'm watching the tea i actually feel like drinking it comment that down below hey comment the chart now i want to ask you to do only four things for me like the video comment down below subscribe and also turn on your notification bells to all so that immediately when i post my videos you will be notified okay i also want to give a big shout out to my members thank you so much guys for being members i really appreciate you if you also want to become a member to join and to get your shout outs please you guys click in the link below and become a member so i know that with teas sometimes they can be drying that's why i normally recommend you to use teas when you have uh, washed your hair so that soon after washing your hair you will deep condition bringing back the moisture so i normally like putting in my glycerin glycerin helps to really moisturize um the hair okay so putting it in the tea will help to soften the hair i'm also going to be adding aloe vera juice maybe two tablespoons of the aloe vera juice is also going to help to balance the strength and the moisture as well so if you don't have the aloe vera and the glycerin that's fine if you actually have honey you can put in honey in there because honey is also a humectant as well it draws in moisture now the most powerful thing that you want to do with this tea is to add essential oils now because you are using things soon after washing your hair and your scalp the essential oils are actually going to get and <laughs> they're actually going to get inside the scalp and stimulate your scalp so this is what you want you're going to be using this every wash day after you wash your hair you're going to be using this tea rinse and then after you deep condition tell you right now your hair will never be the same again you will never complain that your hair is breaking never and you will retain massive length you will retain so much length after using this a uh, tea on a consistent basis okay on a consistent basis so i'm just going to be using this tea to rinse my hair now my hair is freshly washed my hair is washed guys so there's no product on my hair so this is what you want to do when your hair is clean do not apply this tea on hair that is so dirty don't do that because it's not gonna work you need to apply this tea on clean hair so that the tea actually penetrates into your hair shaft strengthening your hair from within so this is very very important so you might ask how often do i use the tea you use the tea every time you wash your hair when you do your pre poo you wash out the pre poo using a shampoo or a soap after washing out then you rinse your hair with this tea after that you then add a, a deep conditioner a moisturizing deep conditioner so that will bring back the moisture all right so this is very essential you guys teas will really help you to to actually reduce a lot of shedding and to also strengthen your hair so that your hair does not break easily okay so this is very essential especially if your hair is damaged or even if it's not even damaged you just need that strength from the teas teas are very good because they're actually herbs they're just putting those small sachets to make it a tea but literally it's herbs okay so you want to use this every wash day all right guys so yes if you have washed to the end please let me know if you wash to the end um i really want to appreciate you i'm really loving these teas a lot i do my hair every once a week every once a week i do my hair um i have a solid hair regimen that i am following and i think my hair is really loving it my hair is super soft and moisturized by using this so after i use my tea i'm going to show you what i do after i then go on ahead and deep condition my hair 
this is very important don't use t's and fail to deep condition your hair so this is the deep conditioner that i'm going to be using it is a very very moisturizing deep conditioner as you can see i also used a uh, sheer moisture um sheer moisture what is it called i'll put the picture there so that you see i used that in my deep conditioner and i'm going to be um deep conditioning my hair with that it was very very softening to my hair i absolutely loved it you can see my hair i'm shaking my head charred <laughs> i i really love this deep conditioner guys you know what before when my hair was a little bit thin uh, when i started youtube my hair was thin because of heat damage i never did a big chop i just went in into ayurvedic treatment and i used them on a consistent basis weekly basis guys i'm not even joking or i'm telling you i did not do a big chop i just went on with a solid hair re uh, regimen that i'm doing right now i used to do my hair every once a week without fail using these ayurvedic herbs and my hair grew like crazy it thickened i'll put in photos you saw the video that i put when the video was starting that's how thick my hair was when i was using ayurvedic herbs consistently so i know that ayurvedic herbs they really work if you really put in the time and the consistency as well it works okay so this deep conditioner is mixed up with ayurvedic herbs you guys so that is what i'm going to be applying and it also has sheer moisture um deep treatment mask i think that's what it's called um i'll put a photo there so that you see what it looks like but ciao mm, look at those curls like my hair is loving ayurveda it's so soft it's so moisturized and i absolutely love it and uh tomorrow i will be reaching one month with these um mini braids where is time gone like seriously Look at my ends you guys i was loving how curly my ends were how moisturized my ends were you guys <laughs> hey these powders are really doing it for me i tell you it's just so moisturized i'm loving it so after i just put on my plastic and then i sit under a wooden dryer to really allow it to enter into my hair shaft so that is what i do after using the tea so please do not forget that you guys very very important after using the tea you deep condition and then you can wash out the deep conditioner thank you for watching and bye for now